Today we're discussing the Tascam DR10L Pro and whether or not it's worth upgrading from the original DR10L. First up, let's talk about battery life. The Tascam DR10L Pro boasts an impressive 24 and a half hours of recording time on two AAA lithium batteries. Now, the original DR10L runs about 10 hours on a single battery. And to be honest, as a professional who's been in video production for over seven years, I rarely need a lav mic powered on for more than 10 hours straight. While extra battery life could be a safety net, if you forget to pack extra batteries, I don't think it's a deal breaker. So moving on to audio quality, the Pro model can record in 32-bit float, which sounds great on paper. But here's the thing, I've never had issues with audio clipping on the regular DR10L, which records in 24-bit. Thanks to its auto gain feature and a negative 12 dB safety track, I've always had reliable backups. And although 32-bit float does offer more headroom, it's generally more beneficial in devices like the PortaCapture X8 field recorder, where you might encounter wider dynamic ranges from soundboards. I also wanted to talk about this because I haven't seen any other reviews mention this yet. The Tascam DR10L Pro comes with a complimentary license for the Isotope RX Elements Audio Repair Bundle, which is excellent for noise reduction. I was really excited about this because Isotope makes fantastic products, but I've encountered issues with activating my software. The serial number included with my LAV isn't being accepted during the installation process. So I'm currently working with Tascam support to resolve this, but it's been a frustrating aspect of this purchase. So if any of you have any tips on how to successfully download the Isotope bundle, please share your insights in the comments. All right, next let's discuss Bluetooth. For an extra $39, you can add the Tascam AK BT1 Bluetooth adapter to the Pro model. And this allows for remote control over the recording via an app. You can start and stop recording and check status, but it doesn't support live audio monitoring. Also, the 15 to 20 foot range limitation of Bluetooth can be restrictive. So while this might seem useful for events like weddings, the limited range kind of places an unnecessary amount of pressure on timing and proximity. I just find it too risky overall. The DR10L Pro is priced at $199, while the original costs $125. Both use the same microphone, so there's no actual upgrade in the core sound quality. The microphone quality, I think, is passable for most scenarios, but there's definitely room for improvement. To sum it up, I think the Tascam DR10L Pro does offer some interesting new features, but for the average user, the original DR10L still holds incredible value. It really just boils down to your specific needs. If long battery life, high dynamic range, and remote control capabilities are essential for your work, the Pro might be a worthwhile investment. Otherwise, you might just want to stick with the original and save some money. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights and reviews. Thank you so much for watching.